Welcome kings and queens to Ace Designs 107, and this is the tutorial that I'll be showing you how to make. It's a really cool text effect, and I hope that you do enjoy it. So the first thing that we are going to be doing is we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to make the width 1920 and the height 1080p, and the resolution 720, and I'm going to change my color profile to the monitor that I'm using, and the name is going to be Text Effect. I'm going to press OK. And then we're going to make the background color black by pressing Ctrl I to invert that and it'll make it black. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our text. You can use any text. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Arial Bold. However, in the preview, I did use a font called, let me get it up. I used this font. So if you don't want to use this font, the download link will be in the description below and you can use that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab our color that we're going to be using for the tutorial. So um, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the blue. However, you can always change the color by after finishing the effect, you can add a few saturation layer style to it. So I'm going to show you how to do that also at the end. So we're going to click on our document and we're going to type in our text. I'm going to be using XCOM for the text name and I'm going to change the color of this text to 00. C0FF. Press OK on that, and then we're going to press Ctrl T to resize the text, and we're going to hold Shift while we resize it so it keeps it in ratio. Now we're going to put the text in the middle of the document by pressing Ctrl A, press V on our keyboard, and the second and fifth icon, making sure that the text layer is selected. Press Ctrl D to deselect that selection, and then we are going to go to the layer styles of the text effect text layer and we're going to put these layer styles so for the inner glow it's going to be on mode linear dodge add and brackets the opacity is going to be on 100 the size is going to be on 40 the center is going to be on center you know the source is going to be on center and the range is going to be on 72 the contour is also going to be on this contour one two three four five six the sixth contour from the beginning so the next the next effect that we do want to apply is we're going to apply an outer glow. So for this outer glow, we're going to make it a screen. Then we're going to apply 75 and we're going to change the color to the blue that we are using before but lighter, like this. We're also going to make it, the size is going to be 70 and the range is going to be 50 and everything else is going to stay remaining like that. We're also going to put this on the gradient. We're going to press OK on that, and our effect is looking a bit like this for now. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to make a layer mask. But before we do make a layer mask, we're going to grab our rectangular marquee tool by pressing M on our keyboard, we're going to press, we're going to bring these rulers down to the areas that we want to start the width of our selection. That will just give us a guideline, so in this case I'm going to be starting at the bottom of that line to here. Make a selection like that. We're going to make a layer mask, and it's going to layer mask like this. However, we do want it to be on white when we do make that layer mask. Okay, I, bef I forgot to announce that before you make the layer mask, you want to hold ALT on your keyboard. This will invert the layer mask and instead of doing that. So, yeah, so don't... When you make the selection and press layer mask, make sure you hold ALT or OPTION on, the, on a Mac. So, that's really important to know, guys. So, if you want to get rid of these rulers, you can go to View, Clear Guides. And the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to make this a bit more softer. But before we do that... You want to make sure that you have the text exact, exactly what you like it. You can always edit it now, but you can't edit it after this. So once you have your text how you like it, you can go to Filter, Convert to Smart Filters, and you're going to press OK. It will let you tell you can't re-enable Smart Filters like this, so it's basically saying you can't edit it anymore. So once you go to that, you're going to go to Filter, Blur, Galassian Blur. And you're going to blur it by one pixel. You can also blur it like a lot more, but I'm just going to blur it by one pixel and press OK. That makes it a bit more softer for us. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a new document. So we're going to press new document. Make the size of this document 14 pixels by 14 pixels. I'm going to press OK. And we're going to zoom into this document. Oh, forgot to make it. Forgot to make it on my monitor. So we're going to zoom into this, 
by pressing Control O, and we're gonna grab our gradient tool, and we're gonna make it white to black, and we're gonna make sure that it's not on reverse. We're gonna press Control R to bring up our rulers, and drag it in the middle of the center, horizontally and vertically. And then what we are gonna do is we're gonna drag from the middle of the document, you, by using our where our rulers intercept down to the bottom and it's gonna make this however if your gradient starts from white you don't want that you want it to start from black so you can reverse it and then do it like this like that so you want it to start from black and go down to white slowly so you just make sure that it's black to white and you're fine so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to define this as a pattern. So we're going to go to edit, define a pattern, and we're going to name this pattern blurry scan line. Press OK on that. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go to this, our text layer back on our original document. We're going to go to the blending options and we're going to go to pattern overlay. We're going to change the pattern of this to our pattern that we have made and we're going to have some of these settings so I'm going to change the opacity down to 55 and that will bring in back our color and we're also going to change the blending mode to hard light so that will bring in our original color back and you know make everything a bit more visible we're going to press ok on that and basically guys we have achieved our effect however if you do want to get some of this lines that was created you can do that by making a new selection with our rectangular marquee tool just like we did before this time I'm going to guesstimate it it's not that really important and I'm just going to do it like that and then I'm going to go to select modify feather and with the feather I'm going to make the feather radius 20 pixels press ok on that and it's going to round our selection and the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to play it apply a lane mask like we did before but make sure you're holding alt also and that will take away some of those scan lines that we had guys that is the effect or tutorial you could say um that it's really cool you don't have to have the layer masks or cutting out everything that is how you make a scanned line text effect what you can do with this is you can apply to change the color is you can add go down to this little button here I don't know what it's called and then go to hue saturation and you can change the hue and it will change the color and you can do a lot of different things like change the saturation make it more dark and you can make it like more really pimped out and everything like that so for an example if I want this to like be purple like that like that and you can also add your little signature on the bottom just by doing this and then go to by designed by so you guys get what I mean and you can put the little signature there and make it look like it's your own professional artwork Make sure guys if you do make this tutorial to tweet me out your results I'll definitely retweet it if you do end up doing this and just make sure that you send me the photo so I can retweet it and share this awesome effect. Thank you for watching the tutorial I really do hope that you enjoyed it. It was a nice and quick one. If you do want to watch another video for tomorrow make sure you do subscribe or come back and check out the channel. Thank you for watching guys. Have a great day and I'll see you guys soon.